The final race of day one with the Paris Pike Novices Chase. Two miles, six furlongs. All novices always flying. David Hooley, Langley Stargram, Christopher the Wild Witch, Joshua Sullivan, Basic Cousin, David Rawlton, Black Peppermint, Paul Parsons, Lawstra Dancing, Derek Hinton, Paige Green, Martin Liam, Soraya, Matt Cooper and Tight. For Craig Beckwith, a field of nine. Well, the smallest field of the day, I think this is. Away they go. Looking their way to the first. Same course and distance as the last race. And they're also hopefully over the first of the 14. And Langley start. And Lawstra dancing at his speed of the lead with Paige Green on the inside. But at the moment, four lengths first to last the whole field in a bunch as they get to the second. All over that one, okay. Nothing seems to be all that keen to lead. As they make their way towards the third. Langley Star and Soraya, and now the Wild Witch is coming through, and they're going to take this turn. See the third and fourth fences ahead of them, and now Soraya is in front. So, looks like this is going to be a tactical one as they get over that one. And Tight has jumped right through into a challenging position as well. So, you put a good jump in, and you end up in the lead in this one at the moment. Langley Star on the inside landed in front there from Lawstra Dance in second. And the Wild Witch, Paige Green on the inside is fourth. Then Tight Basic Cruzen, Black Peppermint, and Soraya, who was in the lead a minute ago, is now last but one. Always flying is the back marker. So they're shuffling around position wise, with the exception of this leader. Langley Star looks like he's now accepted the role as the front runner. And he's two lengths clear of Lawstra Dancing, Paige Green, and the Wild Witch. Which is a ditch shot with a second last, I think, on the next circuit. Oh, there's a fall at the back. Black Peppermint's gone. Well, lucky he was going to be okay. The jockey just bailed out the back. Uh, Black Peppermint out at that ditch. Pretty sure this next fence will be the last on the next circuit. And the rest of them over it okay, although Craig Beck was tight. It was a little bit on, tidy on landing. up there. Past the stand, past the totalised eight aboard in the winning post, they'll swing left-handed for one more circuit of the track. Day one of week six will be in the book on the National Hunt side of things. Well, that's good over on the flat. And Langley Star leads by about five to six lengths. And a line of three of them, the Wild Witch, Soraya and Paige Green closest to us. Also dancing after that one and then always flying tight. And finally, a basic cruise in as they just start to get a little bit more stretched than they have been at any other point in the race. Langley Star, a good five lengths clear now. And Paige Green has just poked her head into second. In the Wild Witch and Soraya, they launched from dancing and always flying. They come into this next one. All over that one, okay. Langley Star by two. So Lawstra Dancing is now back up into second again. Paige Green and the Wild Witch both jumped back really well. We've got a leading group of four now, really, followed by a chasing group of four. Only a couple of lengths between the two groups, though. Now, Lawstra Dancing's just hit the front now from the Wild Witch, who jumped into second. Langley Star just being given a bit of a breather on the inside. Paige Green's had to be pulled off the fence. Then comes Always Flying. And there's a length of a gap of a couple of lengths into the back three basic crews in Soraya and Tight. As they. Make their way towards the next. This is the 11th of the 14, and that time it was the Wild Witch who just jumped into the lead. So three more fences to take. Then they're now starting to get themselves into their racing position to start the race in earnest. Really, Lawstra dancing and the Wild Witch coming to the third last together. Paige Green made a mistake. So did Langley Star. So Rise jumped through into third. Then comes Always Flying Tight. Seems to be going well. Basic Cruzen isn't out of it despite being at the back. And it's the Wild Witch and Lawstra dancing then. We've got a couple of lengths advantage. The one that looks to be going really well on the outside is always flying as they head now towards the second last, the final ditch. 
and it's Lord Stradancian from the Wild Witch, always flying on the outside. Tight has run himself into a bit of a cul de sac. Langley Stars trying to get back into it. So to his Page Green, then Basic Cruise in. Soraya's just dropped off towards the back. They're coming down this final ditch, then now the leader stood off it and falls. Lord Stradancian's gone, and the Wild Witch and always flying then from Tight and Langley Star, then Page Green and Basic Cruise in. All five of these could still win it. All six of them could still win it. They're racing down towards the final fence. It's the Wild Witch in the lead, always flying. Langley Star, Page Green, tight, Basic Cruise in, over the final fence they go, and it's always flying, it's flown into the lead, always flying from the Wild Witch, Langley Star and Page Green, it's always flying for David Uli, who's in the lead by two lengths, racing into the final, oh, well, it's always flying, going to take the final race of the day, always flying from the Wild Witch in second, Page Green is third, tight four, and then Basic Cruise in, Langley Star, Soraya dropped out the back, and... It's been a good day for David Hill. He's picked up a couple of winners at least, two or three. And always flying. Proving that he can do it over the fences as well. Always flying for David Hooley. The winner, the Wild Witch for Joshua Sutherland was second. Paige Green for Martin Lennon was third. Tight for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And Basic Cruise End for David Robertson was fifth. That's day one. We'll be back for more action tomorrow. <laughs>